In FeatureCam 2013 R3, you now have the option to move the index axis for four axis milling parts. In this particular example, you can see I've got a number of features that I've already started creating from the top setup. However, when I first imported the part and generated the initial features, if I go to my View Show Stock Axis, you can see in this case the stock axis is at the top of the part. If I want to do any kind of indexing, I really want the index axis at the centre of this hole. I'm just going to turn off my stock axis. What I want to do is I want to just verify this. If I take any one of these features, so let's take the face operation at the top, I'm going to go into my new feature wizard, I'm going to create a pattern, choose next, and in this case you can see at the moment radial around index axis is greyed out. So first thing we need to do is turn the indexing on. So I go to my stock, double click to get the properties, and indexing, I'm going to choose fourth axis positioning, and then we've got index around the stock x-axis. If I choose apply and say OK, go back in and create a pattern of my face feature. In this case I want eight of them around the index axis. So radial around the index axis. Choose eight by 360 over eight. Preview. And you can see they are rotating around that central axis. What I really want is them to rotate around the central hole. So let's cancel that form and let's create a new index axis based on this hole location. In this case I'm going to say I want to generate a UCS. I'm going to create a new one and I'll call this one 4-axis index. I can go ahead and create it from one of the setups. Say OK. And then I can go ahead and move this position. In this case, I'm going to do two translations. I'm going to move the distance, which is 110 millimeters, to the edge of the part. I'm going to move its Z location by minus 25 to put it in the center of the hole. I could have also created some kind of geometry, for example, a circle on the end here, and use that to position my part. So I've now got a new UCS. I can go back into my stock indexing. And you'll notice here I have a new pull-down menu which allows me to choose which axis I'm going to indicate. In this case, I'm going to index around my four-axis index. So with that UCS chosen, I can apply and say OK. I can then go ahead and generate my facing operation using the new index axis. Let's create a pattern, radial around the index axis, and again enter my parameters, 360 over 8. Preview, and you can now see it's indexing around that new index axis. So finish, that creates my features like so. And I can go ahead and repeat this for the additional features. So we'll do pattern, we'll do 4 by 90. And we'll also pattern the side as well. Again, patterning around that new index axis, 4 by 90. That's generated my additional patterns. Final one we have is a hole. This hole has already been created in a linear pattern, but I could also pattern this pattern as well. And finish. That's all my features patterned around the new index axis. I can then go ahead and play my 3D simulation just to verify I'm happy with everything I've created.